Everything around me here on the old town square in Prague is quite old. But on today's episode, we will show you new places, new businesses that open in Prague so you can be among the first ones to discover them. The first new place we're about to show you is owned by a mother that used to love to bake for her kids only. But then she decided to open up a coffee place so she can uh, forward her art also to us. So uh, these little lovely cakes uh, you can get here, but also an all day breakfast. You can get pancakes, you can get uh, different scrambled eggs and so on. I usually only get coffee for breakfast, but Honza said this video has got to look good. So we got to show this one little cake. So let's share it, Honza. Very good, very sweet. My mom only made spaghetti when I was a kid. <laughs> no cakes like these. Cake was delicious, we even got a little kiss. If you come here, obviously in the summer you're probably gonna sit outside, but make sure you check out the interior of the place as well. And also to point out where we are, we're in a very calm place next to the Betlemske and Amnesty, yet we're literally steps away, minutes away from the Charles Bridge and from the Old Town Square, and you can see how calm it is here. So let's go discover another new place in Prague. Another new place, another sweet place. We got this ice cream that is called Rolli, and they actually roll it. I never saw it before. It is quite amusing to watch it. Uh, we wanted a small one, but we got a big one because the lady working here said, no, 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 on the camera, you want to get a big one. So this is the big portion. We got strawberries, uh, chocolate, banana, and the ice cream. So let's sample it. It is absolutely delicious. I mean, ice cream, chocolate, bananas, strawberries, what can go wrong here? Gonza, sharing is caring, what do you think? Uh, I think that eating ice cream for a living is a dream job. I love it. And not only the ice cream is great, it's also in my favorite passage here in the city center. Absolutely love it. We're on Wenceslav Square, which is definitely not new. It's an old square that is just being reconstructed. And one of the new features here is this fountain. And whenever I come here, there's always kids playing around and it puts smiles on their faces and also on mine. So it's a new feature that I absolutely love. Very simple, yet such an improvement to the square. So big thumbs up for this new thing, new fountain. This typical Czech cafeteria has been here for a while and we've shown you that place before, but right next to it, a new store just opened up, a chocolate store named Janek, just like me. That's why I'm so excited about it. But I do not own it. And Honza asked me, well, did you ever have the chocolate? And I said, of course, whenever it's my name day or birthday, I always get the chocolate Janek because people find it funny. Uh, we actually just walked in. It's a beautiful little store with tons of chocolate uh, and you can also sample their little chocolate butts or whatever you would call it. So we got one. Wow, it's really good. So we sampled the Janek chocolate, but there's another new place that opened in Prague on Pstrosova Street, and that is called Vienečky Janeček. We are at another new sweet spot in Prague, and they make the little uh, sweet here that is called Vieneček. And the owner, Mr. Janeček, told us, well, I wanted to make something luxurious here because I used to work on the street in Prague with all the luxurious boutiques, so I guess that's where I learned it. And he told us that the pistachio uh, Vieneček is his favorite or the best one he makes, so let's sample it. It's very good. We have moved to the part of Prague called Angel, and there's this old building that used to be a power station in the early 20th century, not used anymore. And somebody decided to turn it into a new place, new gallery, photo gallery, and also a coffee place. And I love how an old thing is turned into a new one and it's being used again. It may not be a destination for your trip, but if you happen to be in this area, maybe are staying in a hotel nearby, I suggest or recommend that you at least take a look inside.
I believe I had enough sweets and coffee for today, so let's discover something new and salty. For the next new venue we want to show you, we moved to a part of Prague called Pankratz, and this place is called Brambory, which means potatoes. So when we said we're gonna get something salty, uh, I didn't really know where we're going because Honza picked this brand new place and they really focus on potatoes. They brought it to almost a fine dining, not almost, a fine dining. Uh, so we got many different varieties of potatoes. I'm very much looking to this one, which is with uh, truffle butter uh, that is just now melting on the potato. Uh, we got some meat as well. This being a side dish is also all you can eat. So you can order more. So we made the mistake of getting an appetizer as well. Anyhow, they have great beer, absolutely amazing space. You can actually see how they prepare and prepare the potatoes. Uh, let's dig in. I'm very much looking forward to this. Absolutely mind-blowing. I would never expect such a place in this location, to be honest. One would never believe that potato can have so many different flavors and that it can be such an excitement. Absolutely loving it. I was honestly hoping not to see anything sweet today. And after having the feast with the potatoes, we discovered that they also make sweet uh, potatoes or potato desserts. And uh, let's be completely honest, we didn't order it, but they recognized us as honest guides. So they said, guys, this is on the house. You got to sample it. We're super full. Bro, it is an actual potato. What is it? What the hell? What the? It's not a potato. They lied to us. It's not a potato. It's a... It is a little slice of heaven. If you need one reason why to, you know, get from the city center here, well, this is the reason. So good. Honza, you really made my day with this new place. I'm absolutely stunned. Uh, it was delicious and we definitely recommend you making the trip here from the city center because this is absolutely worth it. We had a long full day of filming. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We really tried to pick the best new places we could find and we really enjoyed it. Hope you will discover them. Let us know what they were like in the comments below, ideally. And once you're down under the video, you can also subscribe, which will put a smile on our faces. And I'll see you here next Sunday on the Honest Guide channel. Bye. And as usual, I'm gonna teach you a Czech word. This time it is how to say potato. A potato is brambora, one brambora, but if it's more potatoes, it is brambore. Brambore is potatoes.